Hi, in the previous video, we had seen how to create a four axis toolpath using a surface finishing strategy. Now we are going to see the same with using a pattern finishing strategy. To do this uh, pattern finishing strategy, I had already pre created my pattern where my curve is driving through at the center of the profile. This option can be do as a roughing option. Before that, similarly, I'm going to create a block parallel to my workpiece. Also, uh, before that, I create a work plane, twist my Y axis. Make sure your, your Z axis is parallel to your workpiece. Accept it. Select your cylinder option. Select named work plane. And your uh, work plane is 1. And if you calculate this, you can see your uh, cylinder block is lying parallel to the workpiece. Here, now I am selecting a pattern finishing option. Select your tool. Here I am going to use a 8 mm tool here. Select the pattern here and uh, your uh, lower limit base position option select as drive curve and uh, I put minus 4.8 as my roughing depth. Make sure your go check is on and go to your multiple cut option. Select offset down. Select upper limit is as 0 and my step down as 1 mm here for training purpose. Next in your tool axis page, you select your towards line option and make your x direction as 1 and y and z is make it 0. If you see the tool axis which is lying parallel to the workpiece, and your rapid plane, just calculate it. And make sure your start point as first point safe and see if you just calculate. After calculating the toolpath, you can see the toolpath comes in this format where I had extended my toolpath outside the part to make it complete the profile fully. Thank you.